It's time for Show Off Sunday, where everyone has a chance to show off their own car, and here's this week's winner. Thank you, Scotty, for choosing me to show off my rig on your channel for Show Off Sunday. Here I have my 2002 Holden Jackaroo SE, which actually is an Isuzu Trooper. With a 3.0-litre, 4-cylinder turbo diesel, my Holden Jackaroo has the Isuzu 4JX1 turbo diesel engine. With 260,000 kilometres on the clock, which is around about 161,500 miles. From the factory, this 4JX1 comes with around about 157 horsepower, around about 117 kilowatts. But after 16 years, who knows how many horsepower does this engine still have. Now, I'll show you around the rig and show you some cool features that are on here. Now some features about my uh, Holden Jackaroo, as you can see it's got a pretty tough uh, bulb out the front with two spotlights, behind the number plate tucks in, I guess you say inside the uh, bulb bar, it has a uh, ARB uh, air tank compressor, currently uh, not working, uh, needs to be serviced, uh, moisture in there or something, prevent it from working, maybe some wiring issues, uh, it was working when I first caught the, the vehicle but not at the moment it is not working. Um, with that air compressor there's a one uh, outlet valve at the front and one at the rear used to pump up tyres and whatnot on the go. Inside the vehicle pretty standard, I've got some, I'll, I'll put some uh, pitch annotations up there. Here's the automatic gear selector lever, we have uh, power and winter, obviously this uh, affects the traction I believe. I know the winter mode button is was mainly designed for the American market with the Isuzu Trooper there. Like I said, this is an Isuzu Trooper in Australia rebadged as a Holden Jackaroo. Power button, I think uh, for more power going up steep hills, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Oh, but I, I, all I know is the the winter button and its uh, purpose for the American market. Features, features on the inside, I have a UHS CB radio, 40 channels. Here in Australia, I mean, in that model, on this model, sorry, anyway. I also have a uh, low water coolant alarm, which uh, is designed and built here in South Australia. Some history here about um, my Holden Jackaroo. I've, I have on, only owned it since of, uh, late June of this year. I did drive quite a long way to go and buy it. Actually, I didn't drive myself there, but two mates came along. Well, they, they drove me up there to... Uh, the town of Port Lincoln, which is just over 600 kilometers away by uh, traveling by car. I uh, met the guy up there in Port Lincoln, bought it off him, and drove it all the way back. Um, on that day, I left at about 8 a.m., and then I arrived back home in early morning, at 1 a.m., early morning. Uh, something else as well, I've only, uh, I've, I've been bogged already once since owning it, uh, and that was the only time at the moment I've been off-roading. I have, uh, I do plan to uh, go off-roading. Uh, once I, I do some more, I wouldn't say extreme modifications, but um, at the moment, I'm not sure if you can see in the, in the picture there, but uh, I do I do only have all-terrain tyres on the front and standard road tyres on the back. And I do plan to uh, get brand new all the way around, including a spare tyre, all-terrain tyres, just to help me when I do off-roading. Decide to get mud tyres for my extreme purposes of off-roading. Uh, just small features on the vehicle. This uh, something something really cool that I really like about this vehicle is that the fuel tank, the diesel tank, say, it is it isn't standard. The previous owner uh, put a, a custom 130 litre uh, diesel tank, which if I uh, drive normally and not put my foot down, say, uh, drive it like I stole it per se, I can get I uh, just I could just get it about uh, 800 kilometres to a, a tank, and that if I you know, like I said if I can drive, drive carefully, uh, I can um uh, get to last uh, around about uh, a month. Okay, finishing off the video, I'm just going to sh sh showing you the engine bay. Pretty standard on these, really. As you see, you got two. You got you got dual battery system. To the left of the to the left of the view is the main battery, which powers for the whole vehicle. The second one up to the right is for accessories. I think helping power the uh, dual spotlights on the bull bar. And as you can see up top, with with the latest 3.0, um, is the intercooler. Underneath that being the turbo, because this is a turbo diesel. And next up, I'll uh, turn it over. The the engine. Thank you again, Scotty, for allowing me to showcase my rig on your channel. And a shout out there to uh, all the fans and subscribers of your channel. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Well, that was this week's video. And remember. 
to have your car video highlighted here on my channel, check this out. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.